Hi, I'm Joe Darko. Um, I work for Microsoft as a signal account manager, and I have some of my coworkers here with me as well, and I did recruit them to teach. I'm trying to recruit more. Um, but before I start, I would like to invite all the WOW Gallery students to come up here with me on stage. Don't be shy. These kids are amazing. I'll be honest. These kids are great. So today, I would like to basically reiterate today's theme, which is celebrating community collaboration. You've all celebrated with us this morning, heard from community leaders and supporters. Now you have the chance to join us to impact education. Gabby, who's here today, one of my best students. So Gabby said something around Christmas. This is the fall um, semester. This is the second time she's taking my class. You see, my class is so good or so bad that she wants to learn something else. <laughs> I always wonder why they want to take it again. I have like six students coming back. So Gabby came um, to, I think, third week of class. Gabby walked into class. She's like, Mr. Joe, I'm upset. I'm sad. I'm like, why, Gabby? She's like, my mom said I get home a little bit late because the bus is probably going around 7. So, and it's getting dark outside. So I'm not be able to do this, you know, any longer. I'm like, wait, what? I was hurt. Because Gabby is bright. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I have to teach the other 23 kids. So I went in the office. I was really dumbfounded in a way, but I kept my head high. Next week, Gabby came in smiling all happy. Mr. Joe, guess what? I get to stay in your class. I'm like, how did you do this? Did you not argue with your mom? I mean, we learned debate skills, but don't argue. You know the difference between a debate and an argument. They know it. So Gabby was like, no, no, no. I'm like, so what happened? Gabby said, my mom asked me what I want for Christmas. And I told her I want nothing but to stay in your class. Mm. That was impactful. Shalia, who is actually here as well, great impact story as well. And she said, Mr. Joe, the reason why I love this apprenticeship, I get to speak my mind. I mean, granted, in class, this will be quiet the whole day. You want to walk me through the hallways, this will be quiet, get in my line. But in my class, they want to scream and yell. You, you tell something to the kid, they're like, no, no, Mr. Joe, I don't agree. And I love to hear the fact that they don't agree. But tell me why you don't agree. If we're going to build future leaders, we should not be afraid for them to speak their mind and actually empower them to make a change. Because no change came from people being quiet. And that's one thing I want to actually impart in these kids. So, we continue to make an influence within our communities. The future is not tomorrow. The future is actually now. The future is actually today. And these are our future leaders. We keep saying, especially the millennials in my generation, oh yeah, these are the future leaders, but what are we doing about it? How are we impacting them? How are we spending our time? And I'm a big advocate in my generation. I tell all my friends, let's do this, let's, let's do this, let's change the world. But if I'm not leading by example, they're not gonna follow. So I do that all the time. And it's not gonna stop.